Steve Domenico in the room podcast with John Piersma fighting this Saturday night at Maverick MMA 16 in Pennsylvania. John, welcome to the show once again. How you doing, my friend? Good. Uh, getting close. Excited. Well, yeah, every time I seem to interview you, it seems to be fight week, man. So uh, I, uh, I get you right right when you're, you're heading to uh, heading to battle, man. So how you feeling, man, your third time as a professional heading into the cage? Uh, I feel great. Um, I'm just happy I've been able to be active. Um, just stay busy. Well, what have you been doing, uh, you know, from this training camp, uh, you know, from the last training camp, this training camp to kind of up your game. I, I know as, uh, you know, you get further into your pro career, you add a few things here and there. Have you added anything to this training camp to prepare for this fight? Uh, yeah, well, first off, it's this is the first time for my pro fights. So I actually got a full eight-week camp. Uh, my, my last two fights were less than three weeks' notice. Um, but, yeah, so I had a full eight-week camp, and uh, I'd say the biggest difference for this camp was I started actually working with a uh, nutritionist and a uh, strength and conditioning coach um, at Elevate 585, Nick Mancuso, um, and that's made a big difference, I feel. Um, I feel my, I'm much better shape, um, leaner. Um, I just – everything feels better. Um, he's put me through a pretty good program for the last eight weeks. Um, some pretty hard workouts. Uh, the diet was great. Um, so yeah, I think that was the biggest thing. First time working with someone like that. Um, I think it made a really big difference. Excellent. Well, do you feel it like on the mats? Do you feel that, you know, that, that extra, you know, that, that extra horsepower in the training? Yeah, I think, uh, the biggest uh, difference I saw in it was uh, the cardio and conditioning. Um, you know, I think I had, you know, pretty decent cardio already, but this, you know, I think it just took it through the roof. I could, I just felt, you know, so much better, you know, sparring four or five minute, four or five, five minute rounds in a row, feeling good. Um, you know, so I think that was the biggest difference I saw was in the, the conditioning. Excellent. Well, you talked about nutrition also. I know you're a big welterweight. Uh, I don't know how much weight you cut to get to, uh, you know, the 170-pound mark. But, you know, you, you said you're in, you know, real good shape right now and lean. Uh, what's the cut like this uh, this time around? Um, well, I haven't, I'm in the middle of it, so I haven't really got to the hard part yet. But I'm hoping this, this one should go. Uh, a lot smoother, a lot easier than the other ones. Um, I'm definitely a lot leaner. Um, probably four, I'd probably drop, you know, at least four or five pounds, just, you know, body fat. Just, you know, following his routine, his workouts, his uh, nutrition. Um, also having the eight weeks um, opposed to um, the last time, th less than three weeks when they called me, you know. And um, I think it made a big difference. I'm definitely a lot leaner. Um, had to cut a little less weight this time. We had a whole, he set up a whole plan for the week of too. So, um, I think it's going to make a big difference and, you know, knock on wood, this will be my easiest weight cut by far, which I think will also make a difference in the cage. Cause you know, everyone knows, you know, doing a tough weight cut, you know, definitely takes a little bit out of you for the fight, no matter how well you rehydrate, but you know, so this should be the best weight cut by far. Excellent. Well, we're heading into a, a new organization, uh, a new cage for you, uh, and in someone else's ballpark. Uh, you're, you're fighting Paul Sims here. He's fought for uh, Maverick a few times. He's had a little layoff, uh, I think, a couple of years. Uh, but three and three fighter, I mean, he's got a couple of finishes, I think, uh, in, in that three wins, man. Uh, what are you thinking about this matchup, and do you know much about him and why he's uh, hasn't fought, fought recently? Um, as far as what, why is it fought, I don't, that's, I don't know anything about that. Um, but as far as the matchup, um, I think, you know, he's tough. We watched a couple of his fights. Um, he's a pretty scrappy guy, strong, explosive guy. Um, you know, so he'll be tough, but, uh, I mean, we feel good about it, you know, um, especially the improvements I've made in this camp. Um, I think, you know, as long as I stick to my game and, you know, fight my fight that we're planning, you know, I definitely feel it's going to be a good outcome for me. But, um, yeah, he'll be tough. You know, he's got six fights, you know, 
couple finishes. So, you know, can't take him lightly. It'll be tough. You know, he'll show up to fight, but we feel pretty confident about it. Excellent. Well, your last two fights uh, as a pro, your first two fights as a pro, CFFC Cage, a huge, huge uh, regional organization. Uh, yeah. Two finishes there, buddy. Uh, what, uh, first round, uh, your first time, and a second round yeah. finish. Um, and you are, you are in line for uh, maybe a, a submission of the year for CFFC. I mean, it's still early in 2021, yeah. but man, coming off that finish, man, uh, how you feeling about that and being recognized for uh, you know a great finish like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's always awesome to get the recognition for, you know, stuff like that, get your name out there, um, you know, it's just, I mean, an awesome finish to have, you know, be able to say, because you don't see, you know, an old pot of finish very often, um, but yeah, it was cool, um, you know, just want to keep racking up the finishes, um, you know, and there'll be more recognition to come. Well, you took out, you know, a real, a real, real, uh, a real good fighter there and Tommy Majeski. He was uh, you know, a hometown guy there. You were in yeah. basically uh I, I wanna say hostile because I was at that fight yeah. and it was a full crowd there and uh yeah. they were really rooting for that kid. You know, it was uh it was a uh, kind of tension filled first round, uh mostly on the ground. He 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 tried to lock in a guillotine, you worked out uh, you know, and the second round you just took over. What'd you feel in that fight? I mean, it was your second time around uh, and uh, second finish. What did you feel in that fight compared to that first time uh, you stepped in the cage as a pro? Uh, well, I mean, the big difference was my first pro fight. There was no crowd. Um, so that was different, you know, just having the whole crowd aspect um, was a little bit different. But, um, yeah, the second fight, it was definitely, you know, his – is he must live right down the road or something. Because I remember when they announced him, it was like the whole arena cheered for him. And, you know, they announced me. I had my group of like, you know, 20, 25 people. Yeah. But uh, that was kind of funny. Yeah, I thought, I think the whole arena was there. No, but, um, yeah, it was good. It was uh, it was a tough first round. I think it was a good experience. Um, he was definitely tough. Um, his, uh, his, his grappling was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. So he, he tested me a lot more there. Um, but yeah, we knew it was going to be good and it's, uh, it was definitely a good win to have, um, especially finish. Well, I know, uh, CFFC has a ton of cards. Uh, you know, Maverick is, uh, an organization I don't know too much about, but, uh, you know, they're getting our fighters, uh, you know, some work there. So we're going to learn uh, a lot more about them. And this coming Saturday night, we're going to be, see you, see you fight and, uh, you know, hopefully get that hand raised. How did you get, uh, you know, connected with Maverick? I mean, John, uh, I know you're two and zero. I mean, but you know, your your amateur record, you had a uh, very successful there. So your name is uh, known right now, uh, and I'm sure you know the the organizations have been uh, calling you to to get a scrap. How did you end up with Maverick uh, for your third time in the cage? So I was actually supposed to make my pro debut way back in March of 2020 with Maverick. Um, I had a fight lined up. It was actually against Paul Sims, same guy. Um, it was like the end of March, and then COVID hit like a week before. Um, so that got scrapped. Um, so, I remember, yeah, it was, so that, that would have been my pro debut. I was getting ready for that. A week out, it got canceled. Then obviously COVID, everything happened. And then, you know, the layoff all the way up till December, I finally got to fight um, for CFFC. But, uh, yeah, so I, I was originally supposed to make my debut with them. And then right after I finished my last fight, uh, the promoter got a hold of Casey, my head coach, because that's who we talked to last time. And I uh, said he was really interested in having me fight. So Casey sent him over to uh, Lars and, uh, you know, the management team. And uh, so we were talking, and uh, they worked out a deal, and that's how, uh, that's how it happened. Well, my friend, uh, how close are we to? Uh, this is in Philadelphia again. Uh, you're you're out of Rochester, New York. How far of a uh, of a trek is this for you? Uh, a Saturday night. Uh, this one's about four hours. A little oh, bit closer far. than uh, Philly. That was five five and a half. So that's definitely nice. About four hours, which isn't too bad. Excellent. Uh, like I said, you're going to be going into uh, kind of. I think his ballpark again. I think he's from the area, and like I said, he's fought for that organization a few times. 
And, uh, yeah. you know, he hasn't fought in a little while. And I did speak about his two-year layoff, but, you know, we had that COVID, which was a whole year long there that, you know, and then you said you were supposed to fight him anyway. So he, <clears throat> I, I figured he's been trying to stay active. So uh, I, I'm sure he's ready to go come Saturday night uh, to try to take that, uh, that O oh, away from your friend. Uh, what, what are you expecting to do in there? I know your last two fights, uh, you know, submissions, and you are, a, a, you know, a grappling and a, a submission artist, man. Are you looking to maybe, uh, you know, mix it up a little more in there? Or is it, you know, you you grab a leg, take him down, man. That That's the game. And that, you know, getting your hand raised anyway is the way to go. Yeah, I'm just, I'm looking for a finish no matter what way it comes. Um Obviously, you know, my first two fights, I really displayed, I mean, all my amateur fights, really, I displayed all my grappling, and uh, I really haven't, up to this point, shown much striking in any fight, um, but if that chance comes and, you know, I get to kind of show what I got there, um, I definitely wouldn't, you know, shy away from it. I feel good. I've been improving a lot in that area. Um, no one's really got to see it, so I'm not sure what he's expecting or this or that, but... Yeah, I'm just looking for a finish any way it comes. If it's a knockout, great. If it's a submission, great. Um, yeah, whatever finish, that's what we're looking for. Excellent, my man. Well, a couple more questions, my friend. Uh, you talked about uh, being at the CFFC card last time. You had like 25 people. Uh, what are you expecting this time uh, taking the track? It's a four-hour ride. It's hard to get people to go, but I know you've got a, a, a loyal following that uh, comes in and watches fight. Uh, what are we expecting this time around? Uh, so I, yeah, I did pretty good. Uh, some things I got, um, I think I sold, I got 40 tickets from him and I've sold all but one. So as of right now, 39 people. So nice. pretty nice. You'll have, pretty, pretty you, you'll have like an eighth of the, 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 the you'll have the eighth of the, the event chair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually, well, I, I got, so I got a little, some family that lives right down in that area. So that was nice. Um, you know, like five or six of them all right in that area. Um, and then a bunch of my family's going down. Some people from the gym are going down. So yeah, I definitely have a lot of people that, you know, definitely travel and want to watch and support me, which is great. Excellent, man. Well, before I get to the last question and your shout outs, I got one more question for you. Uh, back to CFFC, you got to experience cornering uh, a fellow trainer partner, uh, on there, man. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to that. I mean, that wasn't too long ago. Uh, one of your fellow training partners had a had his amateur debut and came out with a, a win against a tough, tough kid in a tough fight, yeah. man. Let's talk a little bit about that and how you felt the other, you know, the other side of the coin. Yeah. Yeah. So that was actually my first time ever cornering somebody. And um, I'll say it was a lot more <laughs> stressful than me ever fighting. Um, it was, it was just me cornering. Uh, I had other teammates who already had fights committed back in Rochester for the same night. So the, all our coaches and stuff already were committed to that. So he got the fight offer and he's been struggling to find fights. So I was like, you know, just take the fight. I'll, I'll go down a corner. Yeah, it's no big deal. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was stressful. Um, <laughs> being, on, being on the other side is, is, it was a lot more stressful than being actually in the cage, but is yeah, it was, uh, it was an exciting fight. Um, he fought a guy that I think was maybe twice his size, yeah. it looked like. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it, it was good. I mean, he, you know, close fight, tough fight. Um, he got the win, so I'm 1-0 as a, as a corner, so I'll take it. <laughs> nice, my man. Yeah, it was a great fight. And like you said, he, had, he was going against Andre the Giant in there. Yeah, so, uh... <laughs> no. He, he's, a, he's one of my main one of my main training partners. And, I mean, he's quite a bit bigger than me, and he, he's a big dude. But it was funny. I was telling him, I was like, that dude looks nice, look small. <laughs> Man, it was all good, man. He performed well, and uh, I'm sure we're going to see him uh, soon, sooner than later again in that cage. So uh, last thing, Jonathan, uh, uh, who's uh, taking the track? Who's going to be in your corner this time around, uh, uh, giving your instruction on your third time in that cage? Uh, so I got Casey, uh, my head coach at Census, uh, BJJ. He's running my corner for every single fight. Um, and then also Mike Montez, my, one of my main striking coaches, is also coming down. So it'll be those two. Nice. Uh, striking coach. I like it. So uh, yeah. maybe. <laughs> so uh, last thing, my friend, I know you got a bunch of sponsors. Uh, and uh, I think the, you, you might have information on the stream or we'll check your Facebook for that. But uh, shout out sponsors, social media, and uh, anything you want to say before I let you go. Yeah. Uh, so just some of my sponsors, uh, obviously Elevate 585. 
um, has made a huge difference in this fight camp, uh, working with Nick and everyone over there. It's been great. Um, I got Laura Real Estate from my last fight. Uh, he's with me again, one of my training partners also, so I know him pretty well. Young chiropractic, you know, keeping me adjusted, keeping me in line. I appreciate that. Uh, Saviki Capital, that's a new sponsor. Um, definitely uh, excited to have them on board. Uh, I got great outdoor builders. Uh, my dad, my brother's company, so they're kind of obligated. <laughs> but uh, Belfield Realty, they're on board again. They were on last time, you know, which is awesome. I appreciate that. And uh, actually, just the other day, I got two more sponsors. Uh, same guy, but two of his businesses, uh, Zelensky Asphalt and uh, High Voltage Motocross. Uh, so that was awesome. They jumped on board last minute. So nice. yeah, I appreciate all my sponsors. And, you know, they help out more than you can imagine. So Nice. Man, so, manly sponsors, too. Pavers and, uh, you know, stuff. I know. Last one, you know, last I come fall. from a uh, small little country town. So. Awesome, my man. Uh, last thing, uh, social media, and I'll let you get out of here. Uh, you know, just my Instagram, just at Jonathan underscore Piersma. And uh, on my Facebook, I'll post up the uh, flight link here pretty soon so everyone can, if they're interested, check that out. Excellent, my man. Well, pleasure talking to you again, buddy. And, uh, you know, following your career along uh, your third time in there as a, as a pro, brother. It's uh, been a pleasure yeah, watching you uh, grow, you know, in, in less than a year here, man. Uh, you know, six months, I must say. Uh, third, yeah. third fight, man. Some people haven't got a single fight. You're doing it, brother. Uh, congratulations on, uh, you know, all uh, the success in that cage, man. And we'll see you Saturday night at Maverick 16 in uh, Philadelphia, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you. Later.